Hey guys, uh, we're getting in the van to ride down to the end of the driveway here. It's a little bit of a walk when you're carrying shovels and poles and level tape measure. So we got to put a mailbox in, which I'm sure a lot of you are like, you know, big deal. It's not a lot of work, but really it kind of is out here because I don't have a post hole digger. I don't want to buy one just for this. And we've got plenty of things to buy right now. So we need to save money where we can, so shovel digging it, which is not the best, especially with our shovel that's a little bit short. Um, but anyway, I'm headed down, back down to the end of the driveway here, and there are basically no rules here. You just put it in the ground, and it doesn't matter as long as it's out of the way of the snow plow when winter comes. So I'm just digging this hole. It's really gravelly because the road out here is gravel and so it's been pushed off the road over over the years and built up in this spot that I want to put the mailbox. And I'm just dealing with, with this free post that was in the backyard but it's a bit thicker and a bit taller so that means my hole's got to be a bit wider and a bit deeper. So I don't know if I'll actually see this to fruition or just give up and go actually buy everything that I'm supposed to have but I figure you at least like to follow along with my struggle so I'll turn the camera here I'll probably leave it in the van since it's all windy out there anyway and you can watch me struggle some more I actually have already dug down maybe two feet and that's why I'm already hot and sweaty just those two feet was all straight gravel and in the wind but you know, it's it's that country life. Alright, let's do this. That's one tone back there. Hmm. Stupid me. Not two feet. Because, you know, I said earlier it was going to be two feet. It wasn't. <laughs> Here's two feet right there. Oh, no. This is 42 inches tall. That's how where it should be for the mailman. Now you can see our short shovel. Look at me bending all down in there. This is why I wasn't walking the next day. Watched a YouTube video, actually, about this, kind of. And the guy said, you know, when you're digging a post hole... You want to be digging a nice straight tunnel. You don't want to bowl. So don't be scooping your shovel. Use it like a knife. Slice down into it. I'll link to that guy's video down below somewhere. But follow some of his tips. And here I am. Threw something aside. Stand up. Back hurts after that. Shake your arms out. Come check on the iPad. Make sure it's still standing. Okay, here we go again. Headed back out. I don't know what I was doing in there. So, probably about to check and see if I'm any closer to two feet. Good way to remember how your mailbox should be is it's 24 down, 42 up. Anybody watching this, probably pretty boring. Okay, I found this handy metal bar in the garage. Gonna use that to hack away at some gravel and some hard soil there. Probably should wear some gloves for this part. Um, if you're smarter than me, learn from my mistakes. So here I am, just jabbing away. Alright, so there I am. Oh yeah, finally got to two feet. Feeling good. What am I gonna do now? Oh, I'm gonna come show you some of this black gold. So the soil is looking good there, aside from the gravel. So take a look here. Isn't that a beauty? Nice. So I guess that's why, uh, you know, they grow so much corn around here. The soil is nice. So here I am, got my big, huge log I'm gonna use to put my mailbox on. Doing a little uh, fancy editing there to skip through the boring parts. Measuring to make sure I still got 42 inches. 
Um, actually was a little bit short, but there's going to be a board between the mailbox and that, so it'll work out fine. What am I saying there? Oh, lift with your legs, not your back. <laughs> now I'm going to start collecting some soil because I'm done with that gravel. <laughs> Thank the Lord. And I'm putting the soil in there. Still uh, going to be tapping it down and making sure it's nice and tight. I'll test that pole out, make sure it feels good, but basically now it's a couple more minutes of this. So if you're taking notes on how to do this, um, buy a bag of gravel. Don't be a cheapskate. Alright, sorry for the bad angle. I got too much going on right now to adjust it, but I wanted to show you just attaching the mailbox here. This is the mailbox. Just the standard black US mail front there. Attaching it to this board to go on top and then I got a little idea for the back of it to make it a little more a little more fancy and cute for the wifey. So we'll just get the screws in here. It's got just two screws on the side that go straight into the board. Our daughter Olivia wants to paint the mailbox and maybe we'll let her. She's kind of an artist. She just needs an idea first. Alright, so there we go and now I'll show you my idea for the back. You can kind of see it there. Let me move the camera. So I've got this little lantern we've always liked. I'm going to attach it to the back here. Maybe we'll get a solar light put it in there. And it'll look kind of cute sitting on the pole there. So that's the idea for now. I'll show you in a minute when we get it down there. Okay, I lied. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and attach this on camera. I was going to use some JB Weld, but decided not to because this bottom comes off. And so we're just going to line this up. I already drilled two holes in the bottom of this metal on this lantern. And so we're just going to go ahead and screw some wood screws through them. And then we'll take it out and install it. Okay. Okay. Okay, now let's close her up and see how it looks. Oh yeah, nice. Solid on there. Just a little loose at the clamp, that's all. But that's not going anywhere. And it opens pretty easily right there. So we can put our light or whatever we're going to use there. And I think it also opens nicely right here. So let's go see how it looks out by the road. Alright, we're headed back down the driveway. And I just realized something that some of you probably already noticed. Because you've done mailboxes before or you're just brighter than I am. But I figured I might as well admit it because I'm not hiding mistakes here. That wind is brutal, sorry. Um, so once you attach the mailbox to that board, then you've lost your positioning for screwing the board into the post. Uh, you live and learn, so I'll just take it quickly off and then attach it to the post and then put it back on. It'll be okay. It's an easy mistake to fix. Alright, here we are. I'll set up the camera and then we'll get going. Need a little sound effect there. That was it getting stuck. It's from Harbor Freight. <laughs> if you're watching the whole thing, you have earned an up close look. So there we go. Got it all we just need to get some numbers on it but it's gonna look good coming down the road with that lamp in there with a little light some good work right there looks good 